La Cruz Blanca, Wikipedia article audio. La Cruz Blanca Neutral was a volunteer infirmary and relief service established during the Mexican Revolution to care for those wounded in the conflict. The Red Cross refused to treat insurgents and the Neutral White Cross was developed to treat all combatants. After their initial success in Ciudad Juarez, the organization spread out through 25 states in Mexico for the duration of the war. It continued as a quasi-governmentally subsidized organization into the 1940s, when it was converted into an organization to assist children. The organization is still operating in Mexico City. Formation Ciudad Juarez Expansion through Mexico Current Organization La Cruz Blanca Neutral was a volunteer infirmary and relief service founded by Elena Arismendi Mejia in 1911. She was enrolled at the School of Nursing of the Santa Rosa Hospital in San Antonio, Texas when the war broke out. Her school was next door to the Texas residence of her family friend whom she supported, Francisco I. Madero, who challenged Porfirio Diaz for the presidency in 1910, was jailed by Diaz but escaped and fled to Texas. Reports of the war, casualties, and the refusal of the Red Cross to treat insurgents, caused Arismendi to return to Mexico City via train on April 17, 1911. Once there, she arranged a personal meeting with the head of the Red Cross organization. When the director reiterated that they would not treat revolutionaries, Arismendi decided to found an organization that would treat her countrymen. She and her brother, Carlos, rallied medical students and nurses to the cause. They formed an association under the guidelines of the Geneva Conventions and she acted as fundraiser, enlisting the help of celebrities like Maria Consa, Virginia Fabregas, and Leopoldo Beristain. After numerous fundraising events, they had collected sufficient funds for a field hospital and on May 11, 1911, set off for Ciudad Juarez. Arismendi and Carlos, formed the first brigade with Dr. Ignacio Barrios and Dr. Antonio Marquez and nurses Maria Avon, Juana Flores Gallardo, Atilana Garcia, Elena Delang, and Tomasa Villarreal. The second brigade, led by Dr. Francisco, left the following day and on the 14th the third brigade, headed by Dr. Lorenzo and ten nurses including Inocenta Diaz, Concepcion Ibanez, Jovita Muniz, Concepcion Sanchez, Maria Sanchez, Basilia Vales, Maria Vales and Antonia Zorilla, set off for Juarez. Arriving in the city, they found devastation and again Arismendi had to rally for funds. Utilizing buildings and supplies secured from the rebels at the Hospital de Jesus, Hospital Juarez, and the medical student dormitories and pharmacies, the brigade swiftly set to work. American medics from nearby El Paso, Texas formed the hospital Insurrecto near the border. The devastation of the city and so many wounded strained the supplies and Arismendi again rallied for funding. A homeopathic doctor, Laglara, established Hospital Libertad to deal with wounded and typhus patients. He was assisted by nurses Rebecca Gielan, and the Valles sisters and Zorilla who had come in the 3rd Brigade. Nurses Rhoda Miller, Francis M. Reedy, Teodora J. Villarde and Tomasa Villarreal from the 1st Brigade formed the surgical nurse team. There were 20 nurses assigned to work in the city of Juarez, Maria Avon, Inocenta Diaz, Juana Flores Gallardo, Atilana Garcia, Rebecca Gielan, Concepcion Ibanez, Elena Delang, Rhoda Miller, Jovita Muniz, Telus Fora Perez, Francis M. Reedy, Amelia Rodriguez, 
Concepcion Sanchez, Maria Sanchez, Teodora J. Villarde, Basilia Vales, Maria Vales, Loreto Vales, Tomasa Villarreal y Antonia Zorilla. In the 11th and 4th Infirmary, at the Insurgents Hospital were Tomasita F. de Aguirre, Esther Concha, Josefina Espelin, Guadalupe G. V. D. A. de Gamuros, Maria Gasky, Libradita Leva, Bernardina S. de Leva, Maxima de Martinez, Juanita Napoles, Anita L. Robert and Adela Vasquez Chafino, who was a journalist. The brigade traveling with Madero included Manuel Rialivesx, Juan Anaya, Silvano N. Cordova, Jose Maria Delgado, and Dick Brown. Finally the nurses who made rounds for those who refused to go to hospitals included Guadalupe GVDA, de Gamuros, Senora Salazar de Harry, Laura Najera de Morgan y Bolem G. de Rialivesx. On June 7, 1911 a massive earthquake struck Mexico and the members of the White Cross rushed to the epicenter in Iguala, Guerrero to offer assistance. By the end of 1911, the neutral White Cross had established 25 brigades across Mexico. Arzimendi was elected as the first woman partner of the Sociedad Mexicana de Geografía y Estadística but she rejected the honor. She did accept a gold medal presented to her for dedication with helping the wounded by the Gran Liga Abrera. Ironically, in 1912, the Swiss Confederation of the International Red Cross presented silver medals to the nurses who had served in Chihuahua, Guerrero, and Morelos with the White Cross. In 1913, factionalism between male doctors who did not want to follow orders from a woman, split those supporting Arizmendi and those supporting Dr. Marquez into opposing camps. Arizmendi consulted a young attorney, José Vasconcelos, who would later become Mexico's Secretary of Education. Arizmendi withdrew and moved to New York City. A later brigade was founded by Leonor Villegas de Magnan in 1913 that aided soldiers along both sides of the Texas-Mexican border near Laredo, Texas. A close-knit group of women and American doctors who helped the wounded during fighting, treated the wounded in Magnan's home, which had already been a makeshift kindergarten classroom. Magnan considered the preservation of Latino history important, and therefore had a semi-official photographer for Cruz Blanca, Iswibio Montoya. She made it understood that selling negatives or pictures was out of the question. In further strides to preserve the history of Cruz Blanca, Magnan wrote The Rebel, a third-person memoir and account of the activities of Cruz Blanca. Unfortunately her manuscript was not published in her lifetime for many reasons one of them including unconventional gender roles. It was not until 1994 when Arte Publico Press would pick up the manuscript from her granddaughter. In 1948, Arismendi changed the direction of the White Cross, due to governmental indifference. Since 1942, the only funding had come from the benefactor, Rodolfo Brito Forscher. The White Cross, still exists in Coyoacan one of the neighborhoods of Mexico City. The institution is dedicated to the care and rehabilitation of children with severe malnutrition problems.